Welcome. Yeah, so you should first watch example zero where I had a lot of fun, perhaps too much fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, we said there in example zero that in this example one, we're going to jump right into the DI method. So I am ready here having uh, crossed my I's and dotted my T's. Yeah, and the problem we're going to use a DI method on is a problem from the MIT Integration B 2013, and it's problem 15 there on that um, qualifying exam. Yeah, and to start, uh, we have to actually um, do like a basic substitution, aka U substitution, but I'm going to choose T for reasons you'll understand in a second. Um, and yeah, like so we're not quite ready to apply the DI method, which is for integration by parts. And this doesn't quite look like an integration by parts problem yet. And so let's make it one. So to start, let um, T equal uh, this guy, the fourth root of um, X, but that's the same as X to the one over four, right? So um, let's write that. Then clearly DT is going to equal uh, one over four X to the negative three over four. Um, dx, right? That's to say that um, dt is equal to um, 1 over um, dt is equal to, I really don't like that equal sign, sorry guys, uh, dt is equal to 1 over um, 4 times, uh, and then it's the fourth root of um, x cubed dx, right? Now, uh, because uh, t is equal to the fourth root of x, uh, the fourth root of x cubed is t cubed. That's to say that uh, dt is equal to uh, 1 over um, 4 t cubed um, dx, right? And so from this, we see that uh, dx is equal to 4 uh, t cubed uh, dt, right? All right, so we see that the given integral is the same as, uh, it's the same as, um, e to the t, right? Uh, and then uh, dx is 4 t cubed dt. So we could write the 4 right here and then t cubed uh, dt. Now, this here looks like an integration by parts problem. And so we'll use the di method. And um, so remember, on integration by parts problem, uh, problems, uh, we would like to look at them through the lens of. Um, through the lens of a u dv integral, where uh, we look at the integrand and pick a u and pick a dv. And uh, one strategy to pick a u, as I said in example zero, is to pick the part of our integrand that after so many derivatives turns to zero. That in this case would be t cubed. And so that'd be u. And that's one strategy by which we pick a u. But I have lots of videos on integration by parts uh, covering all sorts of strategies, so you should watch those. Uh, but yeah. And that's that. So uh, here I'm saying um, u, which is uh, the part we differentiate, right, uh, should be t cubed. And so the d is the part we differentiate, or our u. And then the i is the part that we integrate, or our dv. Yeah? OK, that's, um, yeah, the di mnemonic. All right, all right, all right. So um, let's get on with it. t cubed here, uh, 3t squared, right, um, 6t and then six, and then zero, right? Okay, and then the part that we integrate, um, all right, boringly is going to be every single time, e to the t, ah, come on, I'm supposed to have changed colors, you have to obey, like, um, like, okay, no, not t, now, so you've confused me, e to the t, sorry, I'm talking to my, like, pen, um, <laughs> okay, and then when we take the integral of e to the t, we get e to the t, and then again, e to the t, and then again, e to the t. Okay. Um, all right. And then uh, you do this kind of diagonal pairing, which is like you pair these two, whether or not they like it. These two. <laughs> these two. And. Um, these two. And equally importantly, you put a plus sign to start and minus next. So they alternate and then plus. I'd like to do something different each time. So now I'm putting them in a bubble um, plus. Yeah. OK, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. So then you go. All right. So um, the answer to my 
um, my integral is um, is uh, four times. So this here is um, uh, four times. This here is equal to four times. So uh, the answer to this is now positive t cubed times e to the t. So that's t cubed um, e to the t, and then uh, negative three t squared times e to the t. So minus uh, 3t squared um, e to the t and then plus 6t e to the t plus um, 6t e to the t and then um, uh, uh, minus 6 e to the t minus 6 e to the t and now you can close the parentheses and then uh, plus some constant c right okay 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 of course to actually finish this problem you need to replace uh, all of these um, t's, right? All of these t's by um, what we said t was uh, the fourth root of x. But I'm not going to do that here because this is about the DI method, not about solving this MIT integration D problem. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, there will definitely be an example two and perhaps an example three. Uh, keep watching. Take care.